So I want to do some Python GUI tutorials. Um, I really like programming GUIs and um, I'm using Python. Normally what you would use if you use Python is uh, a module called tkinter or tkinter, uh, whatever you want to call it. I call it tkinter or sometimes tkinter, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use a module called GUI0. Uh, it's a beginner module, but it's really easy. Um, it's a lot like tkinter, so it, once you learn GUI0 really well, you can just pretty much start with uh, the other modules. Um, but it's really easy to get started with app, uh, little GUIs or apps. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's just get started. I don't really want to do any intros. I'm not going to do any installing videos. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments and I can help you from there. There's so many resources of how to install Python on Windows or Linux or anything. Uh, so it's kind of pointless for me to go over that again. So just to get started with an app, I'm using, uh, well, Python, of course. I'm using the idle. It's just like the default Python uh, programming editor or a text editor, I should say. Um, it's IDLE. You can just download it. Um, they have idle for the different versions. So if you're using Python 2, download idle 2. If you're using Python 3, get idle 3. Uh, I'm also using GUI 0 version 0 0.5.4. And you can tell that by going into your command prompt or terminal and type in pip. I'm using Python 3, so I'm using pip 3. Uh, let's see, freeze. So as you can see here, GUI 0, 0 0.054, and that's the latest um, as of right now. So let's just get started. So to make a window, it's really simple. It's just like two lines of, or three lines of code uh, just to make a window. So what you do is you have to import the module. And then once you have the module, you want to import the different items that are in there. So you have app, you have text, you have text box, a whole bunch of different things that you can add. Um, there's um, something called a waffle, uh, there's push buttons. The documentation online is really easy to follow and uh, very, very easy to follow. So just uh, look up that while you're programming. You have it on your other screen or side by side. And um, it gives you examples and everything like that. So I did it, what I did is from GUI 0 import and then an asterisk. What that means is just everything. So everything GUI 0 has to offer, I'm importing it with just that symbol. So I don't have to type out app and everything. So to define your window, the color, the size, the name, pretty much everything defining the window, you just want to state a line here. So you can name this small app with a lowercase a. You can name this whatever you like. Um, it doesn't matter. This is just something for you uh, to identify it with. But I always like starting out with app equals big app because that's what you're importing. So if I were to do, just to show you, so if I were to do this, I'd be importing app. So I'll be using app here. And you can do a title equals so now my title is going to display on the top of the window oops kind of like this is right here I thought I could highlight that but I can't so now at the very end of every GUI 0 app you have to declare this and then like so the small app refers to what you named this so that refers to that oops that didn't work so if you name this whatever you'd have to do whatever dot display 
So if you just control S to save it and then hit run, now you have the little app and it says hello world up here. You can minimize, you can expand, you can close it out. I'm going to leave it open just because I like looking at it while I program. So now that you have an app, we want to put something in there. So let's just say you want to put text in there. So you would name, and so you can also name this whatever you like. Doesn't matter. I'm going to name it text equals big text app. So what this is, the little text you can name whatever. The big text is your importing, um, is you're, you're specifying what you imported. So the app is referring to the window, the big text is referring to what you imported, the little text is whatever you want, just something, an identifier for you. So with text you can do a couple things, usually if you linger, idle will come up with a little cheat sheet for you, and it'll tell you everything you can um, use under like, you can use different colors or different sizes or different fonts, I guess it's not going to come up now, I think I can hit tab. A lot of times you can hit tab and it works. I usually do this in Linux, I'm not sure if that's any different. So we're specifying the app, I want to specify what text. So equal text equals, uh, text is a form of a string. So you want to do the quotes. And let's just type in hello world. And then a comma, you comma after everything and space. Well, you, I, you don't have the space, but a comma. And then we can do like font equals Hopefully I spelled that right. Helvetica. Uh, the fonts come from your computer, so whatever fonts you have installed in your computer, you can use on here. And you can do size. Let's just go with 40. Actually, let's go with let's go with 80. And then you can do text color, etc. If you look up the documentation, it'll show you every little thing you can uh, import and. What idle does, if you do something wrong, is it tells you Helvetica is not defined, so actually that has to be a string, so there we go, control S, run, oh that's a bit big, so let's go to, oh that's bigger, let's go to 60, control S, run, alright, so now we have an app with hello world in it. 